Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to Friday the 18th of March. <laughs> it's uh, 35 out here right now. This morning when Kelly left, it was uh, 29. So it's it's jumped that much in, in an hour. Look at her. She's such a meathead. It's going to be a beautiful day. Hot dang. All right, little spider rider. We're gonna take you for a little stroll today. Aren't you happy? I've got to put my uh, my rain pants on, so I'm gonna throw my little rain survival kit in the bag in case. <laughs> Guess I can't take the uh, the cold. But uh, we're gonna roll out. We'll talk to you guys as the day goes on. We'll see ya. Just like that, in a flash, we switched from Canon to GoPro. Speaking of Canon, um, I I ride with this thing sitting in here. Well, I mistakenly lens down. The other day when I rode this thing, I mistakenly rode it lens up. In case you don't know this, all Canon, even their high-end point-and-shoots, the lens lenses, you know, they, uh, you know, they expand and retract when you power the camera on and off. They are not dustproof. So when they open up, they have a suction effect on the little telescoping lenses. So any dust that's laying in there gets sucked in. Here, hold on a second here. I'll bounce right back. Okay, so what I was, gonna, what I was saying is they expand and retract as you... Oh, God, that's cold on my legs. I'm just wearing these real thin, dicky uh, work pants. And, uh... Ooh, that's cold. Hopefully it warms up quick as I, uh, as I get s southbound. Well, over time, you end up with little speckles of dust. You'll see it inside the lens or in the lens groups. If you look down in it with a flashlight, you don't even, <laughs> sometimes you don't have to look at it with a flashlight. Well, once it starts doing that, but it'll do it over time, especially if you use it like non-stop. I've got um, ju it's just under 2,000. It was like ni 1997 or something. I think is uh, the last video from uh, yesterday, the last recording. And 99% uh, of that is uh, video. I've I've taken very few pictures with that with that camera. But I have it, you know, the, the file counting is continuous. So anyway, about 2,000 videos over that I have that. I think I had that before I started vlogging. So it's been for over four months. And uh, anyway, riding with the lens facing up, you know, the gyrations and stuff of a vehicle going down the road, it has knocked some of that dust, those dust particles, obviously landed on the iris and then the first time I opened it up they fell in and landed on the sensor so now if I point it at any bright lights and uh, the f-stop closes down you'll really notice it on on small apertures you know where it's trying to reduce the amount of light coming in to the sensor when it's bright out any guys know camera know what I'm talking about the higher the f number the smaller the the uh, the amount of light that comes through so anyway, anytime I point this thing at anything bright, and the uh, the f-stop closes down, God dang it, I'm gonna get caught by this truck. We'll give him a chance to run here a little bit. Come on, Ford. Come on, man. Well, anyway, I've heard people talking about dust getting on the sensor. Well, it is full on got on my sensor. You guys will notice. You'll see about four or five, maybe more, pretty healthy, what looks like black spots in the uh, picture. And 
shy of returning it to Canon, which I don't know if they'll fix dust or not. Uh, the camera's pretty much junk for anything that's bright. <laughs> I know as far away as this camera looks, it probably doesn't look like I was very close to that, but I was. You just have to take my word on that. Get these glasses off so I can see when I drive through here. Am I gonna make it? Oh hell no. Oh yeah, well, it's gonna move a trash can out of the way. <laughs> Shift. Oh, foot on the brake. Thanks, Brian. Yippee Yahoo! All right. Thanks for coming along on the ride today. So don't tell my wife, but I broke down and bought the Phantom 4. No, I didn't. So a co-worker just got his, yep, just showed up yesterday. Oh, snap, that is so nice. Oh, you should have never brought this in and showed me. That's really bad. Oh man, I wish you wouldn't have brought this thing in here. It's flashing some kind of update or something to it. With the new lights on the on the new battery. That thing is so cool. <laughs> Have a good weekend. So, this is the end of my work week. Those of you that work Monday through Friday, should that be your shift? I hope, uh, hope you guys had a nice Friday. And looking forward to an awesome weekend. It's been crazy windy down here. It wasn't that way when uh, I came here this morning. But she's all kinds of windy now. Well, hello everybody there in YouTube land. I have made it home. I did myself a little, a little riding home. See, that was high enough. She did a touchdown. A little riding home motor vlog. And Abby, you know you're not supposed to come this far down the road. That's way, way, way too far. I got a gaggle of mail. I don't know what the hell all this is. A whole stack of it. It's almost seven o'clock. Still got a half an hour of before sunset. And Kelly's text me she's on her way home. And uh there's a chance I may not even have beat her, but she usually stops somewhere, so. Anyway, and look at this, I can drive down the road and oh, almost not get the uh, spider and, and hole. What the hell? Is that, who is that? Can't tell if that's Kylie or Zeus. She's he or she's got her head over the fence. See her right there? I think that... I don't know who that is. Damn. Crazy hee-haw. Alright. Oh, man. Look at that lawn. It's terrible. Oh, my God. There, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Don't get excited, me. We just said our hellos. Hi, Madison. 
Yeah. Hey, 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 not on the car. The bumper's one thing. <laughs> they go, hey, Mo. Hi, baby. Yeah. She goes, ah, I got me some squirrels and rabbits. Yeah. And chased a cow or two. Got chased off for chasing the cow or two. Yeah, I <laughs> So you must have had one crazy day, huh? Oh, how's it talk to you? Alright. That's good. Uh, but I smack you around <laughs> to make you come over here. I was trying to pull her in. She goes, you keep pulling me in. What if I don't want to be over next to you? <laughs> so I love picking on but you. But I fatten your lip. What if I like it? Then you'll be in trouble. Getting a fat lip? That's being cutesy. Like it rough and wild, mama. Yeah. <laughs> no, speaking of mama, I've been talking to my mom the last two nights. Of course, I had to call her yesterday. It was St. Patrick's Day, my little Irish mother. And um, anyway, we're going to, so probably within, within a month, we're going to fly <laughs> gonna fly to uh, Spokane. It's, like a 40 minute it'll take me longer to get to the airport than it will to fly to Spokane yeah. but it's like a eight or nine hour trip drive. for us to drive up there so yeah I just you know you're talking probably and then from Spokane to to Newport probably about 45 minutes or so somewhere around there so we're probably looking three or four hours of you know travel time by the time you get there wait in the airport jump on the plane that goes <gasps> <laughs> and now you're there. At the time it reaches altitude, you're turning around and coming back down. But that'd be cool. And uh, I can't wait. I miss vlog Mama so much. Some of that. You we'll guys just start will start stuffing fall. cameras in everybody's face. You're, they will fall in love with your mama. Yeah. She is <laughs> the sweetest. She's a riot. She is funnier and all get out. This little fiery little. Yeah. Little, uh, she is tiny. She comes to about here on me. And I'm not real tall. I'm only like five five. So, I mean, she's like about four foot, and she is just the yeah, she's cutest so, little fart. She's so funny. You know, we all, you know, you, you forget something or whatever. Well, she's convinced that she's old and losing her memory and everything. Like, and you probably are a little bit, but she goes on about it, just cracking as a bump. Forget stuff all the time. Yeah, everybody forgets things, you know. Good Lord, you know, my son Ryan probably forgets stuff more than I do, you know. It just, you know, we just do that, you know. But I think she just, you know, because she's alone now. You know, my dad's been gone for, going on five yeah. years now, sadly. I mean, yeah, going yeah. on uh, seven years. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know it seems like because we were just thinking about that. But it's been five years. It seems like yesterday, but that was yeah. another two years ago. So yeah, it's crazy. It's like, I don't oh know nine. Where, I don't know where the time goes. Man, oh man. Yeah, that's like messed up. Yeah, crazy. Hmm. God, you know, there's literally not a day that goes by that I don't think about my dad. I know. I talk to him all the time. I know that's probably crazy, but I do. I always go, "Hey, daddy." Blah blah blah. Mm. I, when I was I did. first vlogging and that was start doing the talkies or whatever which was three or four years after after he had he had passed i was telling you guys you know how and what's funny is i was trying to catch a train today which i which i caught that got a cool spider vlog on there i probably need to i might have to cut some of that out i i didn't look to see how fast i was going but i was clipping along there pretty good i might get in trouble at work but um anyway uh, it was I was driving through an area where I was telling you guys three or four years ago, whenever that was, um, about how, uh, you know, I, I still get those those feelings. Yet, you know, like when you get busy with life and you don't you don't call your mom or what, a relative, a friend, or somebody that's important to you that you need to, you know, talk to a lot, you know, or you should, you know, whether you need to or not. I mean, you really should keep in touch with family and friends and stuff, but 
you know, there, there'd be times where, uh, you know, Kelly and I get busy, we're, you know, move back down to Texas, or we're living in, in uh, Portland, which, you know, is an hour away, and it's easy to, you know, lose contact, and, you know, you know, time can go by, and you haven't talked to your parents, you know. Well, I would get these flashes, I mean, for years later, I'd go, dear God, I haven't talked to my dad in a long time. I go, man, I need to, I'm a, I need to go home and call him, you know, I, I didn't even... I haven't even talked to him, and then it just hits you. You know, it, it's weird how you have these like thoughts that I need to call my dad. You know, just say hey to him on the phone. You know, he he didn't really like talking on the phone, but or if you have a question, oh, I'll just call daddy. Yeah, some weird thing, and you know, some financial thing that you're thinking of doing or whatever, and you need some good old fatherly advice and things that you would talk to your dad about. You know, and uh. And just that flash would hit you like oh, damn you know how, how you forget you know but luckily those those things have, have stopped I don't have that urge to to call him or swing by because I haven't visited him in a while you know enough time's gone by that 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 stopped but there's never a day that something doesn't come up and I don't think about him I mean just last night you know when I was opening up the packages and stuff I was using that that last little knife that he was carrying around you, you always have I've got I've got so many knives of his because uh, he get them at the mill you know you know he worked in the paper industry and and they're always I don't know vendors or whatever he's always ended up with knives or he'd buy them or whatever I mean uh, all the way back to that story when I was a young kid and and uh, stole that knife you know I still have that knife I don't know why I leave it in my toolbox at work you know my my kid won't touch it. He knows he knows the story behind it. He won't touch it. He he goes in that drawer all the time, but never would he pull that knife out and use it for anything. But uh, I've got three or four of them in my desk drawer, even. And that little one is one of them. It's just crazy sharp. I've never sharpened. That's the way I got it from him. And he always sharpened his knives on a stone. Yeah, that's why my dad and yep. my granddad those, old... those little round ones that you go. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, my dad always had those. Uh, the two grit, they're the long rectangle gray. Yeah. Light gray was the finer, and the coarse was the darker gray. My granddad's was always round, and the two grits were on either side, and he'd always go oh, like this. Yeah, I, I've seen those before. Yeah. I remember my dad sitting there at the kitchen table. He'd have a napkin out so he didn't mess up Mama's table. And he'd shh, shh, and just sit there and thinking deep in thought about something. He always had one of those yellow legal yellow pads. Yellow legal pads. All his little notes. They're always writing his thoughts down. Yeah. He yeah I will lose sleep forever thinking about that Phantom 4. That is oh. fundamentally messing with his head. Yeah, it's that like, that Lord, is mercy above. That is the Phantom drone reinvented. That thing is built like a brick poop house that I mean that thing had to be years in the making that thing is perfection it is incredibly cool I mean just the visual just holding it in your hand it's like you're holding an Apple product I mean just the highest quality to a T I hear cats running in our back they porch are thing out there they're here. chasing each other out there you hear this little like what are you guys doing out there? So uh they're doing the chase. You guys interested like the in the do. Phantom Four Pro? I'll make you a good deal on it. It's only been flown a handful of times. You guys I mean you want the four. You want somebody who's interested in the three. Yeah. Yeah, you just said anybody that's interested in the Phantom Four. Oh, did I'll I say make that? You I'm sorry. I meant the Phantom Three Pro. Yeah. See, I knew what he I'll meant. even supply the bag and the extra battery and whatever. And you can have him get <laughs> Chris at work today, he's going, I won't tell Kelly. He goes, just put it on a credit card. I won't tell her. <laughs> She'll figure it out. <laughs> Kelly, she goes, just think, she, don't, she doesn't pay attention to those technical things. It, it no. still looks like a white drone. She'll never know. I would never know. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, wouldn't but, have a clue. You know, I, I can't be sneaky that way. I, no. That just not talking about losing sleep at night. Mm -hmm. You gotta tell her. Well, Kelly. Yes, <laughs> that's what he always does. 
<laughs> you will be going buy to work. And he'll go, we'll be about halfway. And he'll go, Kelly, I gotta tell you something. And I'm going, I'll let you buy it. Bye. I've literally come home with motorcycles before. I know he has. Oh, it, yeah, he'll go, oh, by the way, you need to swing by at lunch and you got to sign. Yeah, you got to sign something. What? What? I, uh, I kind of got bought a motorcycle. Something. <laughs> Can you run over there at lunch? I'm going, I'm going to kill you. Our credit union, they do, do these things. I don't know why that makes a difference, but yeah. they go, you want to put gas? I said, no, that's fine. She goes, well, we got a thing going on. I, why would I be a, even a thing? But... I don't know. If we they both go, sign on it, the, we it's get a, a little bit less interest. Yeah. You know, I go, it's like, hell, anything you take off of there, you yeah. know? Yeah. Jeez, that, what was that, that 72? Man, that was almost no interest on that thing. That was crazy. Yeah, that's why I got, that's good. That was easy to flop that thing for that Road King. Cause, man, I was, but every payment was just, it's like There's everything no went to the principal. It's crazy. Hey. I was going to make this short because I, I haven't even sat down to look at anything because I came home, I was watching a thing about the first American uh, Formula One team in 30 years and made it about halfway through and I don't even know how long I slept, but uh, it's late now. Must have been a while. Must have mm -hmm. needed some sleep. Yeah, he's Kelly goes, I thought you were going to fall out of the chair at one point. No, he's all like bent totally in half and I'm gone. Okay, should I go wake him up? <laughs> God, you know you're tired like, tumble over. when you wake up. And you know, you're like laid back in a chair and you're staring at the ceiling. I'm going, is this how I'm laying here? Is this morning? Is yeah. this night? Or you wake up and you, you know, staring in your lap because you're all hunkered in the chair. I'm going, how was I even asleep that way? <laughs> That's the craziest thing. That's when you just like pushed it too far. Mm hmm. Good you thing pulled I, Orion. Yeah. Well, good yeah. thing. I go to sleep driving down the road or something. But. It's got to be a quiet, oh man, I was watching Formula One cars and stuff, you know, and engines running and them building the car and going oh, through all that, that, that costume. I will go to sleep. And I just, to me, I just, all oh, that kind of stuff like that, I go crazy. Motorcycles, cars. It's and, soothing to me, though. Yeah, it, it she makes me watches sleep. them. She loves yeah. watching them. Especially love those them. car builds and any of those technical things she goes i don't even know half what they're talking about but that's very soothing to watch <laughs> it is it's really comforting i love it when people tinker with things oh yeah how do you take out the commercials got to record everything Drive oh yeah crazy. fast forward yeah fast forward yeah so anyway we're gonna slip out on you all right because now i'm gonna have to edit what i have i don't go. i don't know what you i have. Do i might not have anything i have no sample. idea <laughs> Like that. So you guys will know what I come up with before I do. Well, no, actually, because I'm yeah, the one that's got to upload it. it. <laughs> but if in present time, I have no idea what I'm going to put in there. So how it comes out is yeah. how it comes out. Yeah, almost every night I've got it built until this point. I slept through the building part today. <laughs> that's it. You're in trouble. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. You have a wonderful night. We will talk to you tomorrow, and Sean will have more little technical information, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a wonderful night. Same smoke time, same smoke channel, Damari. No scaring me. Not even a, even a little quiver out of it. <laughs> it was there. It was in the belly. It went no. <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, though. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.